Oh, uh, hey. Hey, Chris, welcome to TMHQ. Will, thank you, thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Hey, but listen, we need to get going because okay. my team are pitching me on one of the new obstacles today. Obstacles like for the, a Tough Mudder course? That's right, you wanna come see? I would love that. Follow me. How old were you when you founded Tough Mudder? I was 28 when we did the first event. And what is Tough Mudder for those that don't know? It's military style obstacles designed to create teamwork and camaraderie. How many Tough Mudders have you thrown since founding the company? This year we'll do about 100 events worldwide. We've done about 400 events in total. And in how many countries? We're in 10 countries now. How many people have participated since you founded? By the end of this year, 3 million. So then what was your revenue last year? We're north of 100 million. 100 million? Yeah. What, are, what are these here? Oh, these are the bibs for our new event, uh, Tougher Mudder. Can I have one? Sure, you want to put it on now? I want to put it on, yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. How did you ever know or predict that people would like and pay to do this? Do you know, I think my big idea was that a lot of people wanted to do a race that wasn't really a race. And it seemed to me there weren't any events out there that were just about being social and having fun. They were about team. And now I hear that people are so hardcore that some people tattoo Tough Mudder on their body. That's right. You know, 20,000 people have had the logo tattooed on them now. 20,000 people know. have tattooed your company's logo on their skin. Right. We're a tribe. We're a movement. Okay. Let me ask you about your first event ever. Mm -hmm. You threw this at a ski resort in Pennsylvania. That's right. right? That must have been expensive. Did you raise any capital to do that? No, my co-founder and I, we both put in the only $10,000 we had left in the bank, and that's how we got started. Was that scary? It was very scary, I won't lie. You said you've never raised capital? We've never taken any external capital. You've never raised capital because you've remained cash flow positive. That's exactly right. Oh my God. So, we, is this your office? There it is. You're, we just need to stop in here for one second. Oh yeah, 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 sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Follow me. So, after the first event in the mm -hmm. ski resort, is that when you knew this was a real opportunity? Yeah, I think the time I really knew was, you know, we did a price rise in the first few weeks and we'd sold three tickets. And then in one day we sold 200 tickets. And I thought, okay, we might be onto something here. This book has your name on it. It does, that's right. But do you know what? We need to get going. The obstacle pitch is starting now. So I'll tell you all about it. Yes. But we need to get there now, okay? Okay, okay. Cool. It says, it takes a tribe. That's right. It's all about community, the importance of doing things together, working out as part of a group, not taking yourself too seriously and pushing yourself and why those things will make you happier and healthier. What is this craziest obstacle you've ever Well, We've pitched? had some crazy ones, but probably the most crazy was someone having an emu peck the participants. The big emu birds? That's right. Let oh, me introduce you. This is uh, Chris. Hey, this I'm is Chris. Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, nice to meet you. So these guys work in our product innovation team. It's their job to come up with the new obstacles every year. Is that what we're looking at here? Yes, it is. Oh, man. This is our new finish feature that we'd like to propose to Will. So it's called Acid Rain. It is a field of acid rain pouring down directly before the finishing. Okay. And every two participants gets one tiny umbrella that they have to share and try to hold over themselves so that they can get through without getting hit by the rain. Cool. That's I, a cool I like it, guys. I'm excited to see the first prototype. So this is your bread and butter, I yep. know. The obstacles and the Tough Mudder mm -hmm. events, but I know that you now have another revenue stream. That's right, we do. You're gonna start to franchise Tough Mudder gyms? That's right, we're calling them the Tough Mudder Boot Camp. A boot camp? Yeah. So what does a Tough Mudder Boot Camp look like? Do you know what, why don't I just show you one? You have one? Yeah, we have one here in TMHQ, you wanna Please? see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Oh, wow, this is my lucky day here. Wow. So this so, is the Tough Mudder Boot Camp. This is to show to potential franchisees? That's exactly right. So I don't see a bench press or anything. This is, what kind of, what do you do here? So we're trying to get away from the big machines that have been proven time and time again not to work for most people. Oh, wow. So it's all about social fitness, bringing people together just like the events. And what does that look like? Well, I can show you. You want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Okay, let's get down. Okay. We're in a position like this. Nice tight core. Okay, you nice feeling good core. about that? Yeah. And then let's high five as we're doing okay. it, okay? So what is the franchise fee to open a boot camp? It's about 50,000 bucks. And what is the total startup cost for a franchisee? About $200,000, $250,000. Do you have any franchisees lined up? We have two already, one in Boston, one in Houston. How do you appeal to franchisees here? Well, what we can tell them is we have this huge database of people that have done our events that oh. we can bring to the gym on day one. Yeah. Go on, Chris, you got this. Okay. Come on, you got it. Awesome job. Come okay. here. Boom. Cool. Okay, so now you gotta tell me, what was the hardest thing in starting Tough Mudder? The hardest thing is just getting going. It's mustering up that courage just to try it. Yeah. So just do it. Thank you so much. Real Will. pleasure. Thanks for coming.